Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in today's video, I'm going to go over my picks for the best web hosting providers for beginners. So let's dive in. So to kick things off here, I just wanted to mention that in this web hosting comparison, I used anonymous accounts that I have with different providers. Some of them are actually under friends' names, and I basically just use a default WordPress theme and install it on each of these hosting plans that I purchased. And that is how I got these results. So it's completely anonymous and these hosts have no intention of giving me better service or something like that based on who I am and this channel. So I wanted to be very transparent about that. And I'm actually only going to cover the four best WordPress hosting options for beginners. So a hosting service that caters to slightly more advanced users, say a hosting provider like Cloudways, might be a great host, but despite being so good, they aren't the best for beginners. So this won't be on the list for me here, but they are a good host overall. I also wanted to mention that I'll have affiliate links below and some of them will actually give you an exclusive discount lower than the regular prices. So be sure to check those out if you want to get the best price on the hosting for each of these providers and support my channel in the process. If you use one of my links after watching this web hosting comparison, I greatly appreciate it. This support allows me to continue to make videos like this and do these tests to bring you real data and real results for web hosting companies. So the four things that I'm going to go into now are the speed, the uptime, the cost, the support, the data centers around the world, and I'll give an overall rating. And I'm also going to go into some of the things that you should really consider and why you need to watch this before you buy hosting. So let's dive into the results now. So the first thing that we're going to cover here is the speed area. And this was measured by basically testing it for three months and then weekly test in GT metrics where I took the averages of how fast the speed was. So overall, we have Green Geeks at 1.3 seconds, Name Hero at 1.4 seconds, SiteGround at 1.4 seconds, and WPX Hosting at 1.2 seconds. So those are the four hosts that made my list for the best WordPress hosting for beginners. And I'm going to go into more as we go through these numbers, but let's dive into uptime now. In general, we want to see at least 99.5% or higher overall. So all four of these hit those. And interestingly enough, WPX was actually the lowest on this list, despite being the highest cost. So if we go over to cost, you can see that WPX hosting is actually $20.83. However, I should point out that you actually can host five websites for that price at this time. So SiteGround is $6.99, and the reason why that has an asterisk by it is because that is only for a one-year plan. For Name Hero, you can get it for $3.58, but that is only if you sign up for a three-year agreement. And Green Geeks is $2.95 for one site for a three-year agreement. So SiteGround, Name Hero, and Green Geeks would all be for one site and for a specific period of time. Three years for Green Geeks, three years for Name Hero, one for SiteGround, and for an annual plan for five sites with WPX hosting. So next, if we go to support, now this was a very, very tough category for me to actually grade. And I say that because I think SiteGround is very well known for their support within the industry. And rightfully so, they've had probably the best support in the industry for the last few years, if you ask me, at least for the price range that they were offering their services in. But recently, I think they've fallen a little bit down and I've personally had no issues in terms of the support that I've received, but I've actually seen a lot of public criticism about SiteGround's WordPress support more recently. So I actually bumped them down on the list. And I actually think Green Geeks got a little bit better. I used them recently and I moved them up to number two because I actually migrated a website to test their service. And it was probably the smoothest migration I've ever made migrating a site to Green Geeks compared to any other migration I've done for a website in the 10 plus years I've been doing this. So I actually bumped them up to second. WPX hosting was first for me and they have the fastest live chat support out of each of these options. And they're also solid with the more advanced questions as well when I've asked them some more technical ones. So this is one of those examples where you get what you pay for and why they have great support is because they're offering a premium service here and it really stands up to the test. Now, in fourth, I do have Name Hero, and to be fair, I think Name Hero offers solid support. It's just that you're comparing them to great hosting providers here that all have good support or amazing support in WPX's case. So you have some amazing support with these, 
and Name Hero is above average, but when you compare them to these ones, I have to put them in the fourth slot overall. Now, when we move over to data centers here, this is pretty straightforward. Overall, Green Geeks has four total data centers. They have two within the United States, one in Europe, and one in Canada. They're actually the only one that has one in Canada. So if you are a Canadian user, you might get a little bit better service with the data centers in Canada. For Name Hero, we have the US and Europe and they actually have different pricing on their website for each, so be aware of that. So SiteGround actually has the most overall here with six, and they have them in the United States, Europe, Singapore, and Australia. So if you're in Australia, it might benefit you to use this or Singapore for this example. So SiteGround actually might be a better fit for you. And we also have WPX hosting down here with three, and they're located in the United States, United Kingdom, and in Australia. So that wraps up the data centers there, but depending on where you're located, this can have an effect. But if you're located in the United States or Europe, really any of these should work fine for you. Now, overall, this was really tough for me, and I truly believe that these are the best WordPress hosting options for beginners out there. So I really don't think you can go wrong with any of these, but just be aware that I put them in this order for a reason. So I primarily put Green Geeks first overall because I think they offer a lot of value. They have the lowest price out of any on this list. They have good speed, good support, four data centers, and they had perfect uptime for me. So overall, they're really just hard to beat because they've come in first or second in every single category that I covered here. Now this is where it gets a little dicey for some people because SiteGround comes in second for me. And if you look at it, it really depends on what you value. I think SiteGround has great support. They also have the six data centers. They had perfect uptime and they had good speed. Overall, SiteGround is a leader in the industry and they have been for years. But the reason why I put them below Green Geeks is because at $6.99, it's kind of hard to justify the price when you look at something that's half that price with Green Geeks or less than half that price with Green Geeks. Now, Name Hero comes in at third for me. And the only reason why they're in third behind SiteGround, in my opinion, is the support. And I think that they're pretty distant fourth behind SiteGround and third based on what I've experienced with their support. I'm not going to say that it's bad, but it's definitely slower at getting you answers than the other three from my personal experience. They're a great host overall and definitely one of the few that I think I would recommend for any beginner to try out. But overall, they're fourth in support for me. And I think that the average beginner might need more support than the average person that's been using WordPress hosting for years might need. And in fourth overall, I have WPX hosting. And you might be thinking, they had the best support, they had the fastest speed, they had good uptime. Why are they fourth overall? Well, the other ones had better uptime, but the main thing is the cost here. At $20.83, I really don't think you can really justify it when you're first starting out as a beginner. And I say that because when you first start a website, you probably will not see significant traffic for at least six months. And I know that kind of sounds depressing to hear. If you have a local website, a local business, you might see some traffic. But to really get ranked, if you're creating a blog or something like that, it's going to take you six to eight months probably before you really start seeing anything significant. It might take a full year. So you'd be better off going with something else that's cheaper for that year and then migrating it over to WPX hosting, in my opinion. And they do have a free migration service with their platform. So if you really grew your site on the cheap by using something like Green Geeks, and then after a year, if your site's going well, or two years after it's going well, then you can move it over to WPX hosting and basically only move it over there when you need to move it over there because you have enough traffic coming in. There's really no point in just spending all that money up front on hosting when you could be putting it toward other things in your business. So overall, I really hope you enjoy this web hosting comparison. Again, I just wanted to say that these are all good web hosting companies. I tried to really break down the best web hosting for beginners based on what really matters and compare things that are really important to actually think about in terms of cost and in terms of support, things like that. So I really hope that this video was beneficial to you. Again, I do have links below in the description if you want to check them out and support my channel. I greatly appreciate it and I really hope that you just enjoyed this video overall. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more WordPress related content. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.